With extraordinary attorney Woo becoming the biggest drama at the moment in South Korea, the public has taken great interest in the cast members and their lives. How did their career start? What are the actors like? And most importantly, are they dating anyone? In today's video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about them. Park Eun-bin Eun-bin was born on September 2nd, 1992 and got into the acting industry when she was pretty young. But despite Eun-bin's earliest role according to IMDb being that of Young Sung hee in the 2002 drama Glass Slippers, her career as a child actor actually started much earlier. In an interview, she revealed that her first role was in the 1996 drama White Knights 3.98 alongside Choi Min Su, Lee Byung Hun, and Lee Jung Jae. It was natural for directors and casting agents to notice her talent right away, and she started booking roles left and right in several romance and historical films and shows like Empress Myung Song and, of course, the great Queen Son Dok in the role of Princess Bo Ryang. In an interview for the SBS show My Ugly Duckling, she said, I had to go to school and work at the same time, so I had no time to relax. I never really went out or broke the rules to have fun. That was a little difficult for me at the time. In 2012, she got her first lead role in Operation Proposal and got to work again with her former Queen Son Do co-star Yu Sung Ho. Ever since then, she appeared in the dramas Age of Youth, Hot Stove League, and Do You Like Brahms, which got her tons of critical acclaim because she had to actually learn how to play the violin for the role. She got her first taste of international fame when she played in the drama The King's Affection. Throughout her career, she won seven awards, including KBS's Top Excellence Actress Award and two SBS Drama Awards, and has had as many as 20 nominations for her acting, and it seems like her eighth award is on the way. Her acting in the latest drama, Extraordinary Attorney Wu, has been receiving tons of praise, but according to Eun-bin, she was initially very scared to take on the role. In fact, she was offered the role before, but declined it and went on to shoot The King's Affection. However, the producers were so sure that Eun-bin was the one for the role and actually waited for her to finish shooting before offering the role to her once again. As we all know, she didn't decline it this time. She spoke on the reason too, and during the show's press conference, Eun-bin said, I was very cautious and afraid that I might create prejudice. I kept wondering, is it okay for me to act this and that? Then I found the answer that rather than thinking about acting, I needed to understand how I feel about it first. I added Eun-bin's sincerity to young Woo's sincerity. To prepare for her role, she did her research by consulting with different sources. She shared, I met a professor to ask for advice on autism and learn some general characteristics of people with autism. I didn't want to imitate the character as perceived through the media. In particular, there are four diagnostic criteria for people with autism spectrum disorder, and I studied them. This is what it means to be dedicated, but also having respect for the character she portrays. She's really admirable. As for her love life, Eun-bin is so good at acting that she has had dating rumors with all her co-stars. When she starred in Do You Like Groms, there were tons of fans who were wondering if Eun-bin and her co-star Gi min Jae were dating, but the two are and remain just friends to this day. She also had dating rumors with Exos Kai, who acted alongside her in the romance web drama Choco Bank, where the two even shared a kiss, which made fans think that the two were more than just friends. At the time, Kai even expressed disappointment that the two didn't get more scenes together, which fueled the rumors even more. However, the two weren't seen together since then and have probably remained just friends. As far as we know, Eun-bin is single, but since this is part of her private life, I wouldn't be surprised if she was in a relationship and just didn't want to share it with anyone else. Kang Gyeong Kang Gyeong is easily one of the most recognizable actors in the industry as he's been in, well, probably every drama you've ever watched. I'm not kidding. He has been in pretty much everything, including dramas like Weightlifting Fairy Gim Bokju, W2 Worlds Apart, While You Were Sleeping, and What's Wrong with Secretary Gim. He also plays comedic roles, but still manages to bring a fresh take to every single one of them and captivate the audiences. In Extraordinary Attorney Woo, he plays the role of Jung Myung Sok, a senior attorney at Hanbada. Though he didn't believe in Woo Young Woo at the start, he still manages to turn himself around and becomes a great friend and mentor to her, and of course, one of the funniest characters in the show. His acting once again is worthy of praise and attention, as he perfectly manages to portray his character in the best way possible. Ki Young announced that he was in a relationship with his non-celebrity girlfriend in August of 2018, saying, I am dating. It has been a little over two years. There are no thoughts for marriage yet, but if we continue well, I think marriage will probably come one day. And marriage did come. The happy couple tied the knot just a year later in a private ceremony held on May 25th with only his family, friends, and acquaintances invited. The great news didn't stop there, as the couple also welcomed their first child in November of 2019. Congratulations to both of them. Kang Taeol. Kang Taeol actually started his career in an acting group. Born on June 20th, 1994, he became a member of the acting group Surprise in 2013. His acting debut came with the 2013 web drama Actor School 
Lucky or Not, along with his other surprise members. The group ended up disbanding in 2020. The actors had decided not to renew their contracts and move on to different agencies. Thankfully, Teo had built quite a filmography before the disbandment. He appeared in some popular dramas including Miss Korea, 20 Again, You Are Too Much, and Short. He was mostly known for playing a charming best friend to one of the leads or even the hopeless romantic interest who's pining after the female lead. But even though he lacked nothing in talent or visuals and starred in dramas like Doom at Your Service and Run On, the general public still didn't give him the detention or recognition he deserved. Well, that was until he appeared as Lee Jun Ho, an employee at the legal team of Han Bara in Extraordinary Attorney Woo. His handsome face, his charm, and the way his character cares about Park Eun Bin's character has stolen the hearts of many. Unfortunately though, this is going to be Kang Tae Yo's last role in a while, as he's going to enlist in the military soon, literally at the peak of his career. Well, at least he knows that when he does come back, he's going to be welcomed back into the industry with open arms. But is Tao dating anyone? To our knowledge, he's currently single. Not only that, but he hasn't even had any dating rumors with anyone, including his co-stars, ever since he made his debut. He had talked about his first love in the past and said that he had even cried because of her once. But overall, he has expressed that he has little time to date. Tao shared, I've learned a lot since I became a celebrity, and I don't have the chance to fall in love as much as I thought, perhaps because I live in a dormitory. It's hard to believe that a man with his looks and personality has been single for so long, but since it is his personal life, it's not for us to intervene and try to find clues on whether he's in a relationship or not. Let's just hope that he's happy. Ha Yoon Kyung Compared to her co-stars in Extraordinary Attorney Woo, Ha Yoon Kyung probably has the least amount of acting experience. Born on October 20th, 1992, she started acting in 2015, making her debut in the movie Social Phobia. Since then, she has taken support roles in dramas She Would Never Know, Matrimonial Chaos, and Hospital Playlist 1 and 2. She also got some main roles in movies like Stay With Me and Takla Makan. In her latest drama, she plays the role of Choi Soo Yeon, who's Woo Young Woo's law school classmate and colleague at Hanbara. Understandably so, she has been getting tons of recognition for her acting, and even though she doesn't have an important role, she has really brought the character of Soo Yeon to life. When it comes to Yoon Kyung's love life or relationship status, there's not much known about her. Considering that she's still a relatively new actress and has mostly gotten small roles in dramas, there's not a lot of interest about who she might be dating or even dating rumors surrounding her in general. Ju Hyun Young Born on January 14, 1996, Hyun Young's career also started pretty late. Even though she majored in theater, she first got into the acting industry in 2018 when she appeared in the drama series Go Vengers. After that, she appeared in the drama Big Mistake and its sequel the following years. In Extraordinary Attorney Woo, she plays the role of Young Woo's best friend, and although she hasn't had her breakout moment yet, the viewers all want to see more of her. So far, there hasn't been much of an interest regarding her love life, and to this point, no one has tried to start dating rumors about her with someone else. What are your thoughts on the drama so far? Share them in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye!